This is a how-to guide on drawing positive externalities in consumption and the example we're going to use is eating healthy food. So the first thing we need to do is find the um, marginal private benefit line, just draw that in there and then we need to draw in the marginal private cost line. Um, because we're looking at consumption here, nothing to do with production, so we make the private cost equal to the social cost because the private cost and social cost is all to do with production we're looking at consumption in this case so the free market point is where the private cost equals the private benefit and um, so we find the free market point here and we find the free market price of healthy food and the free market quantity of healthy food uh, because we have supply with the private cost and demand with the private benefit uh, we know then that our healthy food is good for society, so we need to add in a social benefit line. W which side does that go on? Well, we know that we want there to be more in society uh, consumed, so we need to shift the curve to the right. So the marginal social benefit line goes to the right, because if we find the socially optimum point where the social costs uh, of eating healthy food and the social benefits equal, we know then that there should be a higher quantity consumed in society because we want there uh, to be more healthy food eaten. And the price, yes, the price is higher, but that's because we would be willing to pay a higher price if we understood how good it was for society. So we found the um, free market point here and we found the socially optimum point uh, there where the um, social benefit equals the social cost, that's a socially optimum point, and there should be higher quantity consumed and a higher price um, for those. So at the free market point though, which we are at, we're not at the socially optimum point, that's where we'd like to be, we need to find the external um, externalities, the positive externalities. Well, what we do is we say, okay, so at the free market point, we can draw a line up to the social benefit line and say well actually we are having positive externalities of consumption here um, of this amount here this this arrow here is showing us the positive externalities so that's saying well we are at this point in the free market but actually um, we are getting much more benefit than than people private consumers realize um, so we have an issue here, we have a market failure, we need to find the deadweight welfare loss or the potential welfare gain. Well, what we do is we go from the free market point up to the new line and we simply say, well okay, that's uh, what we, the positive externalities, that is also positive externalities there. If we consume a little bit more, if we consume a little bit more, we'll get more positive externalities until we get to the socially optimum point where we can no longer get any more externalities from that because we are at the socially optimum point. So it's simply just this triangle here. So that in this case, for positive externalities in consumption, that is our potential, potential uh, welfare gain. It's what we could gain if we understood the true uh, benefits to everybody for eating healthy food. We'd consume more, we'd pay a bit of a higher price, um, and we would be better off for society.